Hi guys, another quick page kind of day. Um, today is day 19 and the prompt is Breeze. And so I wanted to just do uh, something simple like... Um, uh, what do I want to do? I think I want to do... I think I want to do a figural thing. Um, this really isn't quite where I want it, but... That's where it is. So we're going to go with this. Um, this is just some of that um, paper that I glued down in my junk journal. And so I'm just going to draw a head and a neck and her shoulders. Get a arm going out here. Her shoulder is going to come back. This way, she's going to have a bosom, right? We have to have another side to that also. So we'll get get her rounded out here. Um, because it's the breeze, I want to portray, you know, that she has her hair flying in the wind here. So that's what we're going to do. And then, you know, she's going to have a little... Oops, flippy skirty thing here. And let's see, her arm. Yeah, I should probably come down about that far. Her hips would be here, so her legs would be coming down. Yeah, I made her too, too long in the torso. So, can you see that? Because her feet... Her feet really need to be dancing right about down here. And in order for that to happen, her hips need to be up in this area. So I need to, her chest is way too big. Okay, so that means we have to come up in here with the chest. The torso comes down here, the skirt comes down here. This is the end of her skirt. Um, here's the feet. She will be... Let's see. This would be the middle. So that would be one leg and the other leg. Okay, and then her arm needs to extend down this way. Uh, let's see, that would come down just, you know, your elbow is going to come down just about where your waist is, and then this is the lower portion, so that's her hand reaching out here and her thumb. Okay, so we have, we have our little caricature going on here, and I think... I think because the wind is blowing, her skirt needs to be, her skirt also needs to be flowing out that direction. So let's change how this is working and get her skirt going out the other way. Okay, so, which means I should have had her head up here and her shoulders a little bit higher too. <laughs> okay, that's a mess. So let me see if I can refine that any better. Let me get let me get a brush pen here. So her face is gonna come down here. And her hair is going to wisp across and up this way. And then, of course, out this way because it's breezy, right? So that's the top of her hair. And then... where her face is 
kind of at an angle, so her nose is going to come back this direction. The mouth is going to be just small underneath there. The eyes are going to be here and the brow. Okay. So then we need a neck, which comes down like so and like so. This is where the, you know, the collarbone comes across. So then she has a shoulder here and a shoulder here. And so this is going to come back this way. Her, boy, I'm getting way out of way out of proportion now. So this is her chest. Her chest is coming down here. Her hip. Her arm is going to extend out this way, from there, and she's going to have some curves going this way, and her dress is going to flow out this direction with the wind, and her legs are going to come down from the body this way. That bosom is just not right. That shoulder is not right, but we'll make it work. Okay, and then this arm and this hand this leg. Okay, so there's there's our char character. And then we also should uh, figure out what we're going to do for coloration on here. So I think I'm going to grab some tools. Okay, forgot to turn the camera on. I mixed up some uh, fleshy tones here using my, uh, what did I use? I used some yellow oxide, some uh, primary magenta, and a buff, uh, Titan buff. To get a nice fleshy tone for the skin and I'm just going to fill in some of these areas on my page for my lady here and we'll get her going Get her neck and chest painted in. I was having I was having difficulty with the dress and legs, so I just made a longer dress. I thought, nuts, I'm not gonna spend all day messing around with those legs. So that's what I did is I just changed it. And you can do that. You can do that. Okay, I have some I have some gesso out here and I'm gonna put that in the hair area because I want to come back over that with some other things. And her hair is flowing, so I want to get rid of that um, green in the background. And I'm doing that by covering it with the gesso first. And then we will come in and do something with that. This is going to have to dry before I can do anything more there. It's still very, very wet. And I can see I've got a big clump of something right there. Looks like it was some gesso underlayment, so touch that up. 
Okay, that needs to dry. And I also want, um, I want her to be kind of in a field, running in a field where the breeze is blowing. So I think I'm going to use some uh, actually I think I want to get some q-tips here and just do a little blending. I've got some of this gesso and this pinkish color out here. So let's blend that together. Uh, I want to make that more, let's get a little bit of this uh, cobalt teal in there. Get more of a purpley tone, I think. So I'm just going to Blend this out around my caricature a little bit. Because I the colors in that background were just too close to the skin tones and I didn't really want that. I'll leave this green here. It looks kind of like a grassy knoll. This stuff here can go back into the background a little bit more. So let me get a let me get a wet brush. Push that back. Just want to push that back a little bit more. Okay, so I'm liking that a lot better. Now I need to come to the other side of my figure. A little more of that tealy, pale blue. And come up into this area. Try to define that shoulder a little bit. And down the arm. I'm painting upside down, so pardon me. While I continue to paint upside down, get rid of some of that stuff in the background there. Or at least mute it out a bit. just come along here where that grass is blowing in the breeze. Okay. I'm liking that a whole lot better. This dress down here need a smaller brush. What do I have for a smaller brush? Not much over here, but let me get... This is a uh, Derelide Yellow. Get some water. Just want to get that coverage better. Yellow is a hard thing to get coverage with. And I might actually have to blend a little bit of that 
gesso into it to get it to cover better. There, I'm liking that a little bit more. Okay, and then I'm thinking what I would like to do is just some small small flowers or something. I don't know. What color should I use for that? Maybe some of this vermilion. Would be good. Oh boy. That's really bright. But what the heck. I just want to do some little splotchy type flower patch here. Like she's running through the flowers and then I can get my pen and just extend those stems Well, leave things here, or just the suggestion of it. Suggestion. And then we also need it over here. And then my page is really, really wet. So, what do I do about that? Well, I gotta dry. some color in her hair. I have a little Payne's gray here. Ooh, that's a lot of Payne's gray there. Sorry, keep hitting the camera with my brush. Okay, so
Oh, I don't like that at all. All right. Getting way out of hand now. We are just going to pull some of that back. That was not what I intended. So one of the things that you can do when you're working with color is mix some of the colors together. Like I'm mixing that uh, flower color, which was the vermilion, with some of that Payne's gray to create her hair tone. is kind of a brownish tone and then I will come back with some other things on top of that so got to dry I think I'm done with the paint for now I'm gonna move on to some Tosca's and some other pens And I'm just loosely holding my pen, not doing anything. This is just random. Not intentional to do anything. her back in frame here. Her face might be dry enough for me to do something with now. So for her face, it's at an angle. So you can see that the cheek, look at me, I got, I can see the paint. The cheek comes down here. And the chin comes down here, the jawline comes around like so. So then her brow, her brow would be right up in here and her nose would come down this direction. And so her mouth would be here. Let's see if I can get that a little bit closer so you can see. Yeah, that's a little better. Okay, so then her other brow would be right in this area. Her eye, she's going to have an upper lid, and her eye and then this one is also going to have an upper lid and the eye and then the iris and pupil are going to be there and then her her mouth is going to be in here and her nose will be like so okay then her neck comes down this is the 
bodice of her dress and this is her chest line. Rip cage and waist area. Like so. Shoulder would come down here. The arm and the hand. Okay, not liking, not liking this little part up in here for the nose. Should have come over a little bit further. And the mouth really needs a lower lip. But you know, we're just doing a young girl in the breeze, dancing through the flowers. And her leg is coming down here. And that's it. Well, need to do something with that hair. Let me grab a quit sticking my arm in the wet stuff. Grab a different pen. Uh, let's see if this is dry enough to do this. this direction. Let's put a little posy something on her dress. in my pen already. There we go. Maybe I have. <laughs> Working wet is not a good idea, folks. Just give her a little flower belt on her dress. And let's see, I need a little dot of white for her eye. I need it to come out. There we go. And 
do. What do I have here? Let's do a little dot of. Since I have a coral. Oh boy. Oh. And really bright. better. Let's do just a little something there on the mouth and we'll call that good. So that's it. Uh, today was Breeze and there she is in the breeze. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.